And hello everyone and welcome to day 34 of this Unity game development journal. And uh, well today's been a massive day. Well it's 3 in the morning, well 3.30 in the morning. I was going to make this video at like 12.30. Uh, I kept going. I made a video at 2. Had a bug in it so kept going. I think I'm going to call it a night though because I am exhausted and my brain is barely working. So here's a very quick video because I don't have enough uh, energy to talk for too long. But I worked on uh, taking what we did yesterday, which was the meshes for the chunk of a map. So only a, a small portion of the map placed onto a mesh uh, with a dynamically uh, generated texture. And today I want to take that, apply it to a scene, and then have it so if I come to the edge of that, it loads the next scene over, uh, transitions my player and my camera over, and then closes down the original uh, chunk of the map. So let's take a look at what that looks like. There's a slight bug with it. I'm really working on different ways I can uh, uh, transition through, but essentially it's working. So we have, I'm just going to zoom out here so we can see what's going on here in the... So here's the first chunk that we sort of seen yesterday as well. Here's the white box for the camera. I'm playing around with aspect ratios of the camera and you can see the camera follows the character around, but when it gets to the edge, it stops and the character can go freely around the uh, chunk here, which is different than what was yesterday. Oh, whoops, I went too far up. So the, uh, I haven't set up any of the transitions for the top uh, only the right hand side so I, had, I ran into a little problem there so let's go ahead and transition through and you can see and that's how that works so it it freezes the game it um, loads the next scene over it pans the camera over moves the player and then trashes or destroys the original scene so we'll see that again going back this way pan camera player trash and you can see in the scene view the two uh, being on the, at the same time and then sort of the the transition around so really like it I have to play with it a little bit and one of the issues I run into is if you do it too many times right at the transition it um, or if you implement the um, let's see if I can get it to do it here there we go so if you if you're right on the edge of where it transitions, it doesn't show the player over enough. And when the player stops on this side, then it doesn't know what to do. Um, so this is an error. The way I'm going to fix it is I'm going to determine based on the child, the uh, chunk uh, ID or coordinate, uh, what the actual tile should be that the player ends up on. I'm just going to move them directly to that tile. It takes a lot more calculation to figure that out than what I'm doing. Um, but it should work. Like currently, let's see if I have it in here. Player controller. Um, yeah, okay. So this is the uh, function here to move the player over and walk them towards the new scene. So I have the transforms, the existing transforms. I check the direction we're moving and I either sealing it or floor it um, just to get just to get the number a little bit more close to a normal number. And then uh, once I have that number, then I add in the direction we're going, which is either one or zero and multiply that by the nudge, uh, which I set up as like 1.5 or two, it's a number I can change, but it just pushes that character into the new map a certain distance. So if we're not moving on the Y, say Y is zero for direction, then this turns out to be zero, so we don't adjust Y at all. But say direction is one in this direction, then we're going to nudge uh, in that direction by 1.5 times one, which is 1.5. So I'm just going to move them one and a half tiles into the map. I was doing two and two works really well, but it's just a massive push through. It looks sort of funny. So I was trying to get it as narrow as I could. Um, we can take a look actually, if I go to default 
and we go into the character and uh, we just adjust this this nudge let's make it like drastic like four so we'll just do that and we'll go in here so it works perfectly all the time well, the only problem is if you go really really tight to it uh, sometimes you catch an edge case where it it um it shoves you through but not quite enough so if you make this number bigger then it really shoves you through so you can see there see how it just pushes you all the way through here so we're well beyond what i was working with is the number two which puts us on the second second row of tiles which means we're fine because currently i'm testing um the first row of tiles for if i need a transition or not so the trick is to get to push you all the way through before we unfreeze the game because the second we unfreeze the game it's going to check to see what tile the player is on and if it's on this tile then it screws up and it actually might just be an ordering thing uh, let me just take a look here because the way it screws up is it tries to add in another um, value to the to the chunk cord and then i don't have a um, actual thing set up for that an actual scene set up so it goes to find the scene with that extra number in there and it can't figure it out so i think it may be um where would i do that so it's overall so we're coming through here we move the player um which is fine i think i actually get the cord no um this is something I'll probably need to figure out. So we got the current, the next chord, the current chord. That makes sense. So then if I'm going to move back, uh, see what happens is it's not here. It's, it's in the direction changing here. So what this is doing is saying um, the next chord is equal to the current one plus the direction, so this direction right here. So this is, the problem comes in this, calling this transition to chunk. So the when we want to transition to a new one, um, this direction is not being applied correctly. So it's it should be like a negative number, but it's turning out to be a positive number, which I'm not 100% sure why. Uh, uh, I think I know why. Because we're shoving them, at, so let's say we're moving to the right here. So we are shoving to the right. And if by chance the, um, I think this is what's happening. It's moving to the right. So the direction is to the right. I'm facing to the right. But all of a sudden I'm triggering. Like if we look here, it's going to push me way over. But say I landed on the tr on the one tile that triggers the thing again. I'm facing to the right, so it's going to it's going to add one instead of subtract one. So what we need to do is have it. Um, I need to be is moving. I'll have to figure that out because there's no way it's going to happen here. I'm just being shoved way too far over. But if I try and make it really, really tight, um, yeah, that is an issue. Oh, see, here's the same issue, only it's down on the bottom. Um, cannot be loaded because it is not in the build settings. So it is, it is trying to load this negative one. Where's the uh, thing here? So it's trying to load zero and negative one, which is... Uh, you can't do that. We're not. We don't have that scene. I have to have a check to make sure you can't go down. But anyways, that's enough. I'm. I'm not going to bug it all. It's like 3:40 in the morning now, so I'm going to end it here. This is sort of what happened today. I think I did uh, quite a lot. I, I actually love it. It's really starting to look like more of a real map uh, on how a game would uh, treat this large world. So thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll talk to you later.